side. Shoystrom winning the skins on the women's side. Toronto leapfrogging the Aqua Centurions. They now have a nine point advantage for a second. And one more event to finish off our third playoff match. Men's 50 freestyle skins. Well, Toronto definitely has the upper hand here. They've got Zazari, Bernie, who finished second in the 50 yesterday. Their other swimmer, Casil, who's sixth. But Moresi and Greenef were fourth and fifth. Somehow or another, they've got to get both of those guys into this final four. Yeah, because they need to make up yeah. nine points. But again, if they can get in and somehow, some way it goes, maybe Aqua, Aqua, Energy, Energy, and Toronto gets out, or even if Ryan Hoffer can get in and Toronto gets out. Again, we keep saying a lot that of that's scenario. what we need is Toronto needs to get out and Aqua needs to get more athletes in. And for Toronto, if they could get two of their athletes in and box out Aqua, they're going to wind up second here, which is going to be big for them yeah. as they try to track down one of the top four slots for the grand final. Oh, you're right, Bernie. There, there's so many different scenarios that could make this so unique in this very first skins. Kolesnikov comes in. Crowd stands straight up. Remember, he broke that British record yesterday, 20.6, .59 on his start. He can really fly off the start. He'll be first to the wall. Proud and Kolesnikov leading the charge for Energy Standard. And Aqua not in a good spot right now. Energy, they are going to move on to how Aqua is out. Toronto is going to wind up second here in this match as they come up short on the skins. The Titans are going to bring back three points. Huge. Everything played out on this very first race. And the scenario you just talked about, Bernie, Toronto boxing out. Aqua is exactly what happened. Proud and his teammate tied, and Toronto knows it. They will finish second, regardless of what happens from here. Nothing can change that. And you can see the disappointment On Aqua's coach, Mateo Junta, nothing tells you more than that face right there. Bitter, bitter disappointment in one race. And they were set up to possibly get two. They had Moresi right there. He was third with about five meters left to go. And he slipped to sixth. Wow. And it's just a pretty good spot to be in if you're proud of Kolesnikov because it's just extra money in the bank right. when you already know you're going to get your first playoff win. Remember, the Cali Condors just eked out a victory over Energy Standard in the first playoff match of the season. Next week, Energy Standard will go up against DC, London Roar, LA Current. That's going to be a critical match, particularly for LA Current. They won their second playoff match. They're going to battle against the Condors, Iron, and London tomorrow. That's a huge monster matchup we'll have from Eindhoven. And that was Aqua's really last chance, I think, to be able to have any outside hope of making that final four. They may end up just being the spoilers from now on. But this one right here, you wouldn't want to lay odds. Kolesnikov maybe. Proud, can he come back with a second 50? That's the question. You know, he's that drop dead sprinter, Bernie. He has such a good start in first 15 meters. That's going to help him. His teammate tied. He was off the block quick on that one. Shangla looks pretty good. He was really impressive earlier in the 200. 
Oh, DC. Shakalab. DC. It's going to be Kalasikov and Shakalab moving on. Trading up, folks. And a jackpot on Ben Proud, who can give you 150. There's no doubt he can give you a 50, a singular 50. But anything after that, it's going to be tricky. He goes 23-1, gets jackpotted by Kolesnikov. He got off to that good start, but you just had a feeling that Kolesnikov was the guy that you know, he could swim at 200, great backstroker, pretty easily, he breathing every stroke all the way into the wall. Degelev was only 9 one hundredths from Kolesnikov, he was 21.94. Now, if Shekalev can win here, that would make DC even with the Aqua oh, Centurions. Two oh, you're the two or three you imagine? All right, you got it. Head down, get to the wall. They find Hard. themselves at get the moment. Get like you've been doing all week. You want water? 14 oh. points right. behind Aqua. Coach Cindy Gallagher. Just put your heart into it like you've done all week. Obviously, we saw Shegelov earlier in the 200 freestyle. He's got great endurance. Definitely. He's <laughs> been proud. Kolesnikov trying to make energy two for two. They've already got this match in the bag. Shegelov trying to be DC Train's first ever skins winner. They've had a couple chances. They've been in this spot so many times. Can Shekalev come through and pull DC even with Aqua with 390 points? I, I give him a chance here, Bernie. And for the lone reason, that 200 freestyle you just mentioned. The third 50 of a 200. Good start by Shegelev there. A little better than Kolesnikov, 0.63. Oh, he looks good. Shegelev. Kolesnikov breathing every stroke into that wall. And Shegelev a little better off the wall. Trying to fight off Kolesnikov, but Kolesnikov is going to be just too strong. Energy wins both skins. And DC will have to settle for fourth as Shekalev comes up just short by eight one-hundredths of a second. Man, did he give it a go. He did, he gave it a go, no question about it. He did everything he could. He did not fall apart at all, and it was so close. They were within hundreds of a second on the second 50, and the third 50 as well, eight one hundredths of a second separated them. And look how close it was for second, third, and fourth. Laying a lot of heart out there. Kolesnikov, I think breathing really saved him there. Got that oxygen. And how about it? James Gibson. Dominant performance by Energy Standard, not only here in the skins, but overall just whipping everybody else. 44 points in the skins, and Toronto Titans wind up second. They are right there in the mix, folks, with a chance to be one of the top four teams moving on to the grand final.